Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you a shoutcast and part 2 of a replay between Madfrog and Tarsen. Now Zergling's unable to pull back, able to take down that last missile turret however, and now we have 3 Thors, 1 Thor in one Thor being picked up by that medevac now being dropped down army wise we do see Tarsen with the larger army but in economy wise um, Mad Frog definitely has the lead Tarsen really needs to try to capitalize on this perhaps try to do some sort of base race against the Zerg there are more Hellions being trained Hellion now going to come down the ramp perhaps try to join in on this fight one Zergling quickly getting taken down over here more Hellions going to be trained up as the Zerglings completely finishing this off and taking down some of these units over here these Hellions really need to come down that ramp and try to reinforce Tarsen however now steamrolling so what a change in the game so far now moving out with such a strong mech present however Zerling is destroying the economy of Tarsen Tarsen will only be, really be able to mine with mules in just a moment Siege Tanks now sieging up and destroying the economy of Madfrog Madfrog with a very very small economy right now only down to 22 harvesters and also losing this hatchery on the low ground up here we do see mass spine crawlers being thrown down by Madfrog this is a definite change. A mad, a mass spine crawlers, more of a defensive measure to try to hold off. But there are siege tanks. Production-wise, we do see two mutilists, and Mad Frog may lose this all of a sudden. He's been doing such a good job pressuring this whole entire time. Zerglings have been destroying the base here, but and this whole entire army of siege tanks, medevacs, and marauders with Thors as anti-air doing such a great job mutal is now being pulled back over here will these the spine crawlers will only be able to delay the inevitable as these siege tanks are going to continue to encroach and push one spine crawler quickly getting taken down not even bothering with siege tanks in siege mode now going to siege up here and now destroy a lot of these spine crawlers here we do have uh, back over here oh we did lose a lot of drones in that one location here as these stores continuing to put a lot of bit of pressure mutilus now coming in over here to try to take down um, this orbital command will we this is a full base race hellions now moving around the map as well these creep tumors i believe are in fact uh, buildings and structures so the zerg player has to lose these buildings if he takes down the orbital commands it's that's going to be it this however tarson does have enough energy to do scanner sweeps but it'll take quite some time will those mutilus be able to take down those oh the mutilus does not um i do not Okay, we'll never know if creep tumors do definitely count as buildings and structures for the countdown. I believe if the mutilists were able to take down this orbital command here, um, thing, then the base race would have definitely been on. There's enough mutilists um, to, to finish off the rest of these buildings here. We do see that Tarsen is currently supply locked. These stores, which are very, very slow, would be forced to jump into a medevac and try to make its way over. However, the mutilists... Uh, six mutilists would be able to catch a uh, one out of position Thor very very easily not 100% sure why Madfrog GG'd I know it did look very very bleak for him but base race wise and um, he could have still had this this um, orbital command at 181 hit points being repaired by a mule unable to build a supply depot so he's not unable to build a supply depot supply locked and cannot train an SCV I hope you guys enjoyed this 1v1 replay between Madfrog and Tarsen here on Blistering Sands. I still have more games to cast in this series. So hopefully these um, the, the rest of the games will come down to the wire just like this. If you guys like this video, make sure um, to like it, thumbs it up. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe.